Hey man, you good for another beer? Yeah, yeah, I'll take another beer. Fuck yeah, it's Friday night, went up. That's what I'm saying. Thanks, brother. You go, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, dude. That's not TV. Oh no. Man, this stuff is good. What, whiskey or blue rodeo? <laughs> Both, but with whiskey. I'm in the mood for whiskey tonight. You hungry? I can eat. You wanna smoke some whiskey burgers? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let's make some whiskey burgers. Right now, we'll, we'll cook them up. We'll cook them up just like enough, right? We'll just smoke them. You know, just enough so that we can cook them again later. Sounds good to me, man. Let's make some burgers. Right on. Here, just let me throw on some country. We can't do a video without country. Let's do it. Hey, what do you know? The ingredients for whiskey smoked burgers. They're already set right up. So, come get your hands dirty, Chris. First off, let's clean our hands. Oh, why do I gotta get my hands dirty? You can walk if you want. So these are gonna be delicious. I'm looking forward to these burgers. Whiskey smoked burgers. I heard about them, I've seen a video on them. We're gonna do a totally different take on these this time. Well, I'm guessing the uh, con of the idea came out of the Barbecue Pit Boys, or? Yeah, well, somebody recommended the video to the Barbecue Pit Boys. And then I had this idea to do uh, bourbon, sorry, bourbon, not bourbon, I had this idea to do bison burgers. But, uh, well, we, I went to the grocery store, and guess what? Bison's stupidly expensive, so we just got beef. It was on sale. We're gonna make it really good, anyways. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna make whiskey burgers. We got some good old JP Weiser's Deluxe. Looking forward to drinking this after I open it. Uh, we got our beef, lean parents, Worcestershire sauce, pepper, salt, garlic. We're gonna keep it simple. What you looking for? Any drink? No, man, I need a hand cloth. Just wash my hands. <laughs> well, yeah, so we're going to make a whole bunch. I mean, I got, uh, what do we got here? Uh, almost five pounds of beef here. Nah, no. Four or five pounds. So we're probably going to get a bunch of burgers out of here. I'm thinking we're going to try and make like uh, probably 10 ish. About 10 ish. We're going to throw them in the smoker and we're going to smoke them up to an internal temperature of, I think, a goal temperature would be 120. That way when we take them off, we can put them in the fridge, they can rest, and whenever we're ready to cook them down the road, like immediately, and then some more tomorrow, uh, we can, um, you know, we'll just throw them on the barbecue and we're good to go. And we're so, doing a, we're going to do a pretty standard spice mix, you know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic, uh, a little bit of Worcestershire, and whiskey is pretty much going to take over flavor for us with the smoke, so it's nothing really too fancy this time. Get that open. I'll just mix the spices here on the side while you start mashing up some meat. Right on. Excuse the grinding, but we just don't have a salt shaker. <laughs> or a pepper shaker. So we're keeping this standard. You've seen uh, a long time ago when we first started, you see me make uh, burgers. Then we threw a whole bunch of stuff in there and made a comment about meat milk. Um, this time around, we're just using meat, whiskey, spices, and a Worcestershire sauce. And afterwards, we're gonna do a whiskey barbecue sauce to spread on there. I was, I was thinking mayo or some sort of spicy ketchup, but realistically, these are whiskey burgers. They're gonna have whiskey barbecue sauce. We got some brioche buns, because they're pretty flavorful. Uh, and then we got some uh, provolone cheese, because I think that would go nice. This whole thing started me planning it to be a bison burger. Uh, and then, obviously, because of the $13 for a half pound, um, <laughs> we went, with, uh, we went with, with beef. So, some of the ingredients stay the same, and we're going to just make them the way we make them here. So, I'll get the beef all up in there. 
And in case you're wondering for our spice mix, we only use salt, pepper, garlic, and roughly a tablespoon of each. Rough. Uh, just put some whiskey in here. A few splashes. I'd say there's about an ounce in there. And a little bit of leaf air. Some for the meat. You have to do at least about 10 smacks on the bottom. That's our measurement for today. Some for me. Some and for Chris. One <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Tastes good. Good old Tastes fade rye whiskey. So, I'm going to mix this meat up a bit. And uh, we have to put at least one chicken abortion in there. One chicken abortion it is. <laughs> Help bind it together. Oh, that's nice. I think, it, I think we can put another splash of whiskey in that. How about mixing the meat? You want to open it? Put another half a couple of shots or something? Yeah. Good, good, good. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, there's roughly. Probably two and a half shots of whiskey and uh, four pounds of meat. Four and a half, five pounds. Four and a half or five pounds ish. Oh, that smells good. Ooh, it smells like whiskey and dead cow to me. All right, want to get that egg in there? Yeah. There you go, sir. And I want to slowly sprinkle some spices in there as you're doing it. Yes. Yes. So I was telling uh, Justin earlier there, I was like, Justin, buddy, we're making some, uh, we're making some whiskey, smoked whiskey burgers, or smoked whiskey burgers. Oh, before you start, we do need one shout out for this. Cindy Allery, thank you for sending me the video on whiskey smoke. We're kind of making it our own, but it was kind of your idea for us, so. You're getting one of these burgers. You're, you're definitely getting a burger. <laughs> both hands in there now. Get dirty. So, do you just want a cutting board to make them out or try it? Uh, grab the cutting board and we'll put some, uh, some stuff on it. You, you want a big white one? Yeah, get the big white one. We'll put some uh, saran wrap or some shit down on it. So, key thing to make these burgers, so we have a bunch of equal sized burgers, because they are going in the smoker, we don't want them to become fully cooked until we're ready to cook them, is we gotta come up with a good portion size. I'm thinking we could use... Give me one second, Chris. There you go. I'm <laughs> thinking we could use, um, like, uh, that'd be a good sized burger. <laughs> um, then we could use, what, a quarter or a half cup um, measurement for the meat. I'd say half cup for sure. All right, I think that's a full cup in there. I got uh, some uh, measuring cups over here. Yeah, half cup for sure. Because then one thing with beef, it do shrink up a little bit and it do swell. Well, we'll see what a half cup looks like. Well, once you pack it in there. And this is like a packed half a cup, not just throw it in there. It looks like a half cup. Right. Half cup looks perfect. Half cup. Yeah. So we're doing some half cup burgers. Nice. Here. I gotta find my whiskey. You found your whiskey. I found my whiskey. <laughs> right, Chris, I'm just gonna just uh, do a little quick clean up here while you're doing that. Yep. Since we don't have a lot of filler in these, they're not gonna shrink up too much, and it's uh, I believe it's extra lean ground beef. So yes, they're going to shrink a bit, but no, they're not gonna shrink so much. That's gonna be a big deal. But if you look at the size of those brioche buns there. These could almost be a little bit bigger, but they're, they're going to be good for the way they are. Flatten them out some more. Brioche buns because we're a little crunched on time and we just didn't want to bake today. <laughs> exactly. Make sure you stay tuned on Sunday. We are going to have a great video in the bush doing a Newfie steak dinner. In the bush with the snow. In the bush with the possible snow. Yeah, it's supposed to be snowing. But that makes our fire a little bit more appreciative. Yeah, we're gonna like that. We're gonna like that warmth. Yes. 
All right on. So we got uh, you got the smoker in there turned on. What do you turn on to? Uh, the smoker to start off, I turn on 250. Uh, that's pretty much just to uh, allow the smoke to, or the chips to start smoking immediately. And then uh, we'll turn it down to roughly, what do we think, usually 180, 190? I think uh, 180 will be good. Yeah. We're going to get it full of smoke and throw these in there. We want them to warm up and uh, we're going to put the thermometer in one of them. Yeah. We want them to warm up to, like I said, 120 probably with a good maple smoke. Making me get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna get these all sized and portioned, and then uh, we'll we'll do some fine tuning afterwards if we need to. We got six burgers now. Six, and we're only halfway through. So we might even get a dozen burgers out of this. You know what? We won't get a dozen burgers. What we'll do is we'll just add more meat to these. We might go. Um, all right, we got we got a half a dozen at a half a cup. We might do another half a dozen at three quarter cup, and probably get four more. Yeah. This is another one of those things, it's up to you. If you want a huge burger, go for it. You really can't have too much meat in a burger. No, really it, it just depends on how you cook it, so. We're here for the sole purpose of just showing you how to do it. You do it yourself. It's fine whatever way you want to. Yeah. As long as you have beer and whiskey and a smoker, it'll all turn out fine. <laughs> now, down the road we're going to be doing some videos. We're going to show you how to make like a smoker on the spot. I'll go find Chris and I will make a fire in the bush, we'll find some junk, we'll throw it all together, and we'll cook something and smoke it out in the bush. It just, you know, it's got to be creative. Two, of course. We got eight. Yeah, so we're going to go for the ten burgers, and then we'll just add a little bit of whatever's left over to whatever's left after. They're looking good though, man. They're nice sized burgers, I gotta say. And they smell so good. I. I can't believe I've never done this before yet. Alright, well, we're going to cut the video short right now because we're just going to finish uh, mixing up the meat here, bring it right to the smoker. Uh, we, we will show you uh, the finish after it's out of the smoker and we'll throw a couple on the grill just to try. But for now, happy cooking and, and cheers. Cheers, buddy.